Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is two five all Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe For the Clearwater Beach Roundabout, Police Chief Eric Gandy says this is a betrayal and a breach of trust in law enforcement officers. Officer Nicholas Paloma is facing charges for false imprisonment and sexual battery all while on oh the job. God. It all started during a simple traffic stop just after 2.30 Sunday morning. Clearwater Police Chief Eric Gandy says Nicholas Paloma stopped a 32-year-old tourist near the Clearwater Beach Roundabout for jaywalking. He told her to get in his unmarked patrol car. What? This affidavit reveals Paloma allegedly told her if she did things for him, she wouldn't get in trouble. The chief says Paloma then drove the woman around for the next half an hour, forcing himself on her multiple times. He then what? dropped her off near her hotel. Shortly after, the chief says his officers were called to an argument between that woman and her friend, where the woman detailed what happened with Paloma. I thought about what we tell our own kids, what you tell your kids. Detailed what happened with Paloma. I thought about what we tell our own kids, what you tell your kids if you're ever mm. in trouble, find a cop. Ooh. So it's white I have to make piss. it really clear, obviously, by the fact that our detectives worked tirelessly since very early Sunday morning. Um, that we take this extremely seriously. And it's intolerable in this profession and certainly in the Clearwater Police Department. Paloma has been on administrative leave since Sunday. He was arrested Tuesday and is being held in the Pinellas County Detention Center. Chief Gandy says Paloma is a five-year veteran of the department. To his knowledge, Paloma hadn't worked at any other department, nor had a prior disciplinary record. Wow. If you have any information about this case or any other potential incidents involving Paloma, you're asked to contact the Clearwater Police Department. Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here, 250 Gemstones Exchange. This is where I give you guys great content, and in exchange, you guys have a like comment or subscribe hopefully all three of the above don't be afraid to share my videos pass me around pass me around facebook instagram and all other social media platforms and y'all know how i feel about my chizzing if you guys like to support the channel cash app dollar sign michael us also check out my website 250 gemstones.com.co also check out my spotify podcast link is in the description y'all stay and watch the whole video we need to talk did y'all see that mess? Did y'all see that mess? Would y'all like to know my opinion? I'm going to give y'all my opinion right now. This is so alarming that every, 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 it seems like in America, everybody's horny and violent. Horny and violent. Violent and horny. Horny and violent. Even the police, they said, call the police. Heard the uh, chief said, whenever you're in trouble, who do you call? The police. Whenever you're in trouble, you can call the police. Who do you call when you call the police and the police is giving you trouble? This man, <clears throat> this police officer thought it was a good idea. To, he only got the badge so he can fill up on vulnerable women. He only got the badge so he can get him a little something every time he step out on, into the field. Every time he pulls somebody, he probably one of them officers only work in the districts where there's a lot of uh, female workers. You're going to have to play. You're going to have to pay, buddy. Just because you're an officer, their bills got to get paid. He, he said, I'm a police officer. You just got to get it up. You just got to give it up or I can make a life a living hell. Who trained this police officer? Was it Denzel Washington from training day? Could that be? This is a horny, sick bastard, and I can't believe that these there's people like this on our workforce, and then they say that the American people deserve jail time. We de we deserve jail time so much that they're building more prisons as we speak. Tax dollars going to prisons to lock up Americans, and you got trash like this on the police for absolute garbage, filth, dumpster juice. Patrolling our neighborhoods, our kids. So if he's doing this to a woman, which thing is going to stop him from doing this to a young girl? She don't know what to do. That's why they prey on kids. The kids are not 
they have enough aptitude to the wherefore to know what to do to talk to grown ups because they've been taught, you know, respect grown ups, respect grown ups, but they're not, but they don't know how to deal with slimy grown ups, right? This dude is straight slime. His ass needs to be yanked and suspended. How many of y'all think y'all y'all flood my comments? Do y'all think he should do jail time? I think he need to throw him under the jail because he swore to protect and serve. So first off, you neglected your responsibility as an officer. Second, you tried to get you some. Tried to force your little burrito on somebody because he's Latino. He tried to force his little burrito on somebody. And the woman is probably scared to death. If I don't do what he say, I'm going to go to jail. Then there's fees. There's fines. I got to pay a bond. And I got to figure out how am I going to get the money from my hotel room. She, she's uh, So she ain't doing too good in life. And he's preying on people that ain't doing too good in life. One little slip up, you know, your whole operation goes down. So he made it his option to go over there and try to get him some and the ultimatum give me some or i'll ruin your damn life how about that and even if you beat the case that's time away from work i don't know what she does for a limit even if she's out there selling that cookie is she black that chocolate chip cookie is she asian that fortune cookie is she white that sugar cookie is she latina that taco baby that taco baby whatever she do to get how she put food on her table that's her business but he said, however you get it is not enough because you probably live in the hotels. You ain't doing too good. This man's a predator. This man's a creep. This man needs to be yanked off the police force immediately. No suspension. No boots need to be in his ass. They do that to the American people every day. They do that to the American people every day. Putting boots in our ass every day. But y'all flood my comments. What y'all think about this officer out there in Clearwater? forcing his little burrito on vulnerable weak women every chance he gets 250 i'm gone